this festival. I just finished the Sydney festival before this festival. I got reviewed very badly. I'm sorry. Um, no, the reviewer said, oh, Lachlan seems quite immature and she's very mean to her children. So I found the reviewer's number and I rang her and I said to her, they started it. <laughs> You get what you're given when you give birth, I'll tell you that. Um, one of my kids had an imaginary friend when he was four that he didn't like. <laughs> this kid's slightly tarred with the Asperger's brush, or as rich people call it, gifted. And, <laughs> and the imaginary friend came over. Stupid me, let the imaginary friend inside the house, right? <laughs> and, and my kid's like this, he goes, And I'm like this. Like, we're miming in front of an imaginary person. <laughs> so as not to hurt his feelings, I guess. And then I've whispered, I've gone, why? And my kid whispers back to me, he goes, don't let him in. He's really, really irritating. And I so wanted to say, well, you imagined him, you little freak, <laughs> right? But you can't say things like that to a child. You certainly can't say that to a child if you're its mother. That would be wrong. So I just went over to the fridge and I poured myself another drink. <laughs> and I said to my husband, what's up with Rain Man? That kid's freaking me out! <laughs> I was actually a drug addict for five days and um, we've got a terrible nursing shortage in Australia. And what they do now, this is after you've had a caesarean, they give you your own morphine, right? It's on a stand, a bit like this. <laughs> it's just a button you press. I wasn't even in that much pain, but bloody lovely stuff. But like, oh, oh. oh, just off to La La Land, you know? Off we go and I'd wake up, and life is a bit boring, isn't it? So, oh, off we go. <laughs> I did this for five days, couldn't get enough of it. And then I woke up five days later, and apparently I'd named the baby, which was <laughs> shocking, right? <laughs> Uh, I've woken up, and it's the prettiest baby I've ever had, right? And I've called it Mary Agnes Guinevere. <laughs> and I couldn't change it, because it was a Catholic hospital, and Sister Mary Calligraphy had already written it in the notes, right? And, <laughs> and then I started crying, and I really lost it. I'm just like, it was the, as I said, the prettiest baby I've ever had, and I'm just like, <laughs> it's such a pretty baby. And I was probably coming down off the drugs, really, if truth be known, but I was like, it's such a pretty baby, and I've called it. And then I pulled myself together and realised, at the end of the day, it's way more her problem than mine. So that was... <laughs> I've not been well uh, for a, a long time. I, I suffer terribly from hypochondria, it flares up, and um, I know I've got cancer, I just don't know where. And I've, I'm also dying um, of menopause, which will take some time. It's a long, slow, dry rot. Uh, to my death, and it's, it's not fun, it makes you unwell, and it also makes you mean. We've got this kid who lives next door, right, um, his name's Peter, he doesn't live alone, he's got parents and everything, but um, he's an only child, right, and um, one of my kids, he said to me, he said, Mum, how come you always let all of us play on the roof, but whenever Peter comes over, you never let him? And I'm like, because Peter's in vitro! He was grown in a test tube. He cost them thousands! <laughs> you, my little prince, there's so many more where you came from. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me.